Welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I'm Queen Von Shea Taylor. It is June 9th. It is a Friday. I'm going to be doing a reading for the fire signs, okay? So we're talking about Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, let's get started. Let me get some cards for these fire signs to see what's going on with them. Can I get about two more cards for the fire signs to see what's going on with them? Can I get one more card, please, for the fire signs? We're talking about Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. One more card, please, for the fire signs. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got honeymoon. All right, so the first card we got is confession. It says someone has something to tell you. Fire signs. Okay, so you have um, earth signs. And you have, yes, luck is on your side. And remember, at the bottom of the deck, you guys got honeymoon. So, fire signs. It looks like there could be an earth sign wanting to um, tell you, an earth sign that wants to tell you something. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With luck is on your side, it's looking like the earth sign is going to go forward or you're going to go forward with a confession, a confession that you have for an earth sign or vice versa. Can I get some cards for the earth signs? Oops, sorry. Can I get some cards for the fire signs regarding this spread here? Three more cards, please, for the fire signs. Can I get three more cards? No, no, no. Yeah, three more cards, please. For the earth. I keep saying the earth sign. <laughs> For the um, fire signs regarding this spread. Two more cards, please. <sighs> okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. Okay. So this is more earth fire signs. This is more earth coming out. All right. Okay, um, fire signs. So right away, we have the strength card. Okay, and this is fire right here. And then we have the emperor. Okay, so these are the two major arcanas that came out. So these are both fire. Okay, with the emperor being here in the um, strength card. Number eight and number four could be significant to you guys. All right. Next to that, you guys have the um, ace of cups and the Six of Cups, and you have the Two of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune right here. So, it definitely it definitely looks like whomever has something to say, they're going to reach out. They're going to reach out um, and talk to you. We have the um, the Wheel of Fortune being right here. And this is more fire. Yeah, whoever this person is, fire sign, they've been... Um, with the Two of Pentacles being right here, they've been trying to basically 
figure out how to approach you. Do I come this way? Do I come that way? So someone wants to talk to you. And they feel like coming towards you, they, they want to open up their heart. And right here with Ace of Cups, we have um, new feelings and romance. So, yeah, and remember, at the bottom of the deck, we have um, honeymoon, okay? Um, honeymoon phase, someone, someone's wedding. Like, yeah, whoever this earth sign is, uh, fire signs, they're very interested in you. And with the Six of Cups, they've been interested for a while. They just really didn't know how to approach you. And like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune card being here, it says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So they're coming in. They have luck on their side. They're coming towards you. Let's see what the Romance Angel cards have to say. What else do we need to know about What else do we need to know about this earth sign that's trying to come towards this fire sign? What else do we need to know? Can I get one more card please regarding this spread? One more card, please. Anything for the fire sign? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. So it's saying you have known each other before. Interesting. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it looks like this earth sign is definitely thinking about coming towards you, fire signs. They stand optimistic, okay, about the situation. It says free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, all right? And then we say we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your um, re religious upbringing and spiritual path. So remember I was saying that um, this person has been trying to come towards you, but they didn't know um, how, to, how to approach you. So I could be talking to someone um, who may have different um, religious background. I could be talking to someone who's of um, a different... Um, race or culture something like that culture's a little different no let's use these cards let's see the hidden truth let's see what's going on with the hidden truth what else what else do we need to know about this Earth sign that's trying to approach the fire sign. What else? <clears throat> what else? Can I get two more cards about this earth sign that's trying to come towards the fire sign? One more card, please. bottom of the deck we have I'm so attracted to you we have I'm so attracted to you we also have I left you before you could leave me so remember I said this is someone that you guys know, you already know, okay? It says, I remember every detail of that day. 
And then we also have, I'm starting to understand our connection. So whatever it is you guys have going on with the earth sign, they want back. They want, they want to come back. Okay. They want to come back. Can I get some details about the fire sign? We got details about the um, earth signs. Can I get some details about the fire sign? Can I get two more cards for details regarding the fire sign? Two more cards, please, universe. Regarding details to the fire sign. One more card, please. At the bottom of the deck, we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay. So I asked for details. Hmm. So we got the golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So I asked for details <laughs> regarding the fire signs, and this is what we have. So um, it says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. <laughs> we also have ascending, okay? It says transcending obstacles, learning um, expansion, new phase, preparation for, uh, preparing for union. All right. So maybe the fire sign used to be this way. You know, they used, they probably used to be, um, a, a narcissist. Um, they probably used to be love bombing and, um, self-absorbed, but now it's looking like with transcendent being here, it's like, um, they're, they're doing things different. They're in a new phase. And that's probably why the, um, the earth sign is willing to, you know, give this situation another try with luck, um, is on your side. Um, we have the, um, hand of cards. It says, take a chance, um, risk. It says being strategic options. Um, gambling, not showing your hand. All right. All right. Last but not least. Do we want to wanna try some Kipper? I got him down here. Why not? Kipper, what do you have to say about this spread regarding... Um, fire the fire sign and the earth sign can i get one card oh i got two mm. we got number 16 and we got number six number 16 it says thoughts so someone is thinking heavenly about someone you see him and that lady in the background, he's thinking about something and someone. And then we also got mature woman right here. So it could be um, either way. You know, he could be thinking of a, um, a mature woman or a mature woman could be thinking about um, him. Or both you guys could be thinking about each other. All right. And at the bottom of Kipper, we have great fortune. And don't forget, we also have the will of fortune. So it looks like... Um, Whatever was in the past, you know, it's looking like um, you guys will be in a position to move forward. Maybe you guys both have learned from your past and uh, want to try to give this another chance, all right? Remember, we're talking about the fire signs, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. To close out this reading, can I get um, one card, please? God damn it. A two cans that ah. these are the Archangel Michael cards. It says at the bottom of the deck it says use your imagination. Imagination. Use your imagination and you'll see the answers. Okay. It says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy, okay? 
It says, please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own beliefs and for those around me. So remember I said the uh, fire sign for um, details and had like narcissists or whatever the case may be. Um, basically they're asking to keep their ego in check with this card right here coming out. All right. So they definitely have put in the effort to try to change things for the better for the relationship. And it says, um, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. We have Archangel Michael when what part of my life do I need to focus on more clearly right now? Thank you for helping me helping me hear your answers and give and for giving me the courage to make healthy um, changes in my life. And I think that's probably what had happened. Um, you guys had asked for certain things to be um, removed from your life and it's looking like it's happening in order for um, something to be renewed on a healthier level. With that being said, fire signs, I am Queen Von Shea Tarot. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.